Melanie were on an aeroplane with Mother Bunny, traveling to Africa. They were visiting Melanie's relatives for a holiday. The flight attendant brought some gifts. Would you like some bracelets? Oh, yes, they would. They're beautiful, Miffy exclaimed. You can wear these bracelets to show your friendship, the flight attendant added. Miffy and Melanie thanked her and said, We will always be friends. Now the plane was ready to land. They made sure their seat belts were fastened tight. They were almost there. Melanie's aunt and uncle were preparing a welcome dinner when they arrived in the village. Everyone was very glad to see them. We haven't seen you since you were a little baby, said her aunt as she hugged Melanie. This made everyone laugh. This is your cousin, said Melanie's uncle. Hello. My name is Manu. Would you like to see our house? Manu had something that she wanted to show them. These are my drums, said Manu proudly. I want to be a famous drummer when I grow up. Then Manu showed them how she could play. Melanie started moving to the beat of the drums. The faster Manu played, the faster Melanie danced. Melanie invited Miffy to dance too. But Miffy felt shy. She'd never done that kind of dancing before. Then Auntie called out, Time for bed! They were tired. It had been a long trip. Tomorrow we're going to do something special, said Manu. It's a secret. And then she couldn't help herself. We're going on a safari. Everyone laughed. Manu wasn't very good at keeping secrets. Early the next morning, just as the sun was waking up, they all helped Melanie's uncle load the truck. Manu carried the water because later in the day, it would be very hot. Miffy carried visors, because the African sun gets so bright. And Melanie carried binoculars, because they wanted to get a good look at any wild animals they might see on the safari. Soon they were ready to leave. Melanie's auntie and Mother Bunny waved goodbye, and off they went. They drove through wide open landscape. As the sun rose, it got brighter and brighter. That's why they had put on their visors. Then it started to get hot. We'll stop here. Under the shade of that tree, said Manu's father. See the water, Manu whispered. That's where the animals come to get a drink. Miffy looked through the binoculars. Look, a zebra, Miffy shouted. And a baby one too. And I see giraffes. Shh, whispered Manu. 
Miffy's visor kept slipping down over her eyes. Finally, she took it off and placed it on the seat beside her. It felt cool under the shade of the tree. Next, they saw something moving in the water. It's a hippo. They love swimming in the cool water, said Manu. They even saw a lion taking a nap. Shh, whispered Manu. We'd better not wake him up. Miffy and Melanie had never seen anything like it. At home, they'd been to the zoo. But in Africa, the animals lived on the open land, in nature. Look, a monkey! Manu cried. Manu was right. A monkey was peeking out at the safari truck. And the monkey was wearing a visor. Miffy looked at the seat where she had left her visor. And it was gone. That monkey is wearing my visor. The monkey must have snuck up on the truck and taken Miffy's visor. Don't worry, Miffy said Manu's father. You can wear mine. But now we have to go back before it gets too hot. They all waved goodbye to the animals. That evening, they met one of Manu's friends. He was a good drummer too. Manu joined in and the two of them made up their own rhythm. A big moon rose in the sky. Stars twinkled like diamonds. Manu gave Miffy and Melanie their own drums. Miffy had never played the drums before, but with encouragement from the others, Miffy started playing too. At first, she played the drums slowly and carefully, but soon she liked it. Four friends making music. It was like they were talking to each other. Everyone danced to the drumming. Auntie loved to dance. Even Mother Bunny joined in. It turned out that there was only one thing that Manu liked to do as much as drumming. And that was dancing. She might have been one of the youngest, but Manu was also one of the best dancers. shy. They danced and danced and danced. Eventually, everyone was so tired they couldn't dance anymore. Manu had one more surprise for Miffy and Melanie. These drums are for you. Miffy and Melanie each took off one of their bracelets they had been given on the aeroplane and held them out to Manu. We wear these bracelets to show our friendship. And since you're our new friend, we'd like you to have them. For once, Manu didn't know what to say. She was so excited that she put the bracelets on and didn't take them off for a long, long time. There's a good chance that Manu is still wearing those bracelets. After all, friendship can last forever. On the plane going home, Miffy and Melanie looked at their drums and knew that every time they played them, they'd think about Manu. Manu.